All right, so to make an app uh, alert for your Air application for Android, uh, there's a few ways to do it. You can make it all in Flex and uh, design it your way, or if you're not a good designer, you can do it this way. So on SmashingMagazine.com, there's this Android UI uh, PSD vector kit, and it may look a little outdated, but it has this really nice uh, alert. They call it a dialog box, and that's what we'll be using to build our uh, alert for our app. So I'll post this link in the show notes. You can download it. It's got a very nice license, so you can use it in private and commercial product projects. And you can download the PSD file here. Uh, because this is a vector kit, you will have to have Photoshop to open it up, but if you don't, since this is an open license, I'll just go ahead and post all the uh, assets along with the source code for this tutorial. So, first thing we have to do is open up this in Photoshop, and you can see we have just a large document. And over here on our layers, we need to find the uh, dialog box which is here and we know it's the right one because we can turn visibility on and off and the alert that the piece that we want does that so we'll right click on it and hit duplicate group and instead of the same document we want a new document and we'll call it alert and we'll just hit OK and then this makes a brand new document with just what we want in it so we'll go ahead and zoom in here and we'll get our cropping tool and we'll crop this alert out so we only have what we want make sure we get all this uh, if you're having trouble cropping you may want to go to view and turn off snap so it's not trying to snap to uh, the edges or uh, grid lines so that looks pretty good we'll hit OK and now we just have a dialog box so now we want to see the size of this document. So it's uh, 295 by 183. Uh, so we'll want to remember that for later. And uh, now we need to get rid of this text. So we'll go into layers and open up this group. And we want to turn off the dialog label, which is the, uh, I call it the title of the alert. And we also want to turn off. Uh, this alert content alright so now because we'll be making our own buttons uh, we need to hide both the buttons as well so now we just have the background of our alert box and so we can go ahead and do save as and uh, we'll save it with our other stuff and we'll save it as a PNG so we keep a uh, transparent background so now that we have that saved we need to get our buttons back out and we'll just use this OK button for this example so we'll do the exact same thing of duplicate it to a new document and do our crop again It, it's better to have more of a margin around it than to cut off some of the pieces uh, of your image. So don't worry if it's not an exact crop. Alright, and we're saving this button as well. Alright, so now let's quit Photoshop. Okay, and let's... uh. Hold on here. Open up Flash Builder here. And we're going to make this in its own library so that we can use this in every single one of our mobile applications. So we'll hit File, New. And then we want Flex Library Project. We'll call this uh, Mobile Alert and we just want to use the mobile library and we'll say finish 
So now that we have this, uh, let's right click on our source folder, hit new and folder, and we need an assets folder to hold all of our uh, images we just made. And so now let's go back into our file browser and uh, drag both of our alert and button images into this assets folder. Alright, so now that we have those, and see it's just the background, uh, we need our components um, to uh, make this pop-up alert work. So we'll hit new uh, MXML component, and we'll create a new package and just say comps, and this will be a mobile alert. And it is going to be based on upon a skinnable pop-up container, which is right here. So the full name of it is Spark Component Skinnable Pop-up Container. And with our width again, we need the exact width of our one Photoshop document. So 295.187. Hit OK. And now we get our component. So to add our image to this component we need to create a skin for it so we'll head back into our package explorer right click on source new mxml skin a skins package and we'll say a mobile alert skin and it'll be based upon the skinnable pop-up container again And why is this not? Choose a skin to create. Something's not right. Alright. So, let finish. Alright, and here is our skin file. And right now, it's nothing but uh, we will take this rectangle which has a solid fill of white which is the default background for this alert and we'll delete it and we want an image in its place and so we'll set the source to assets and then alert.png which is our actual uh, image file here under the assets folder and what did I do? alright so now that we have that, we can go ahead and set our width and height again to the same, 295 and uh, 187. Alright, we'll save that and close it out. And we're back in our, skin, our mobile alert component. Uh, in this top tag, we'll create a new line and give it the skin class a property of mobile alert skin. So we'll save that and if, if we hit design we can see that we have our uh, background now. So now we need um, an image which we're going to cheat right now because we only have an up state for a button but if we had an up down and over you'd want to create an actual uh, button component with these skins for the different states. But because uh, this really is more about creating the alert and not the button then we're just gonna cheat so we'll say source and assets and it's button.png close that head back into design mode we'll click on our button image and we'll center this uh, in our alert I think it dropped down a little alright so now we need to add our text so uh, we want a label for the top here and we'll stretch that over a little and then we want a, a text area for the content text and we'll have to do some modifying the properties on this so we'll head back into our source and under this text area tag we will uh, change the border visible to false 
um, we want the content background alpha set to 0, 0.0 and then the color for the text color to be white and this will be the same thing for this label we want color to be white alright so we have this saved now we need to assign text to both of these so in our declarations tag we'll create two string uh, variables that we'll assign text to so uh, we'll just say string and give it an ID of title and another one with an ID of content alright and now we're just going to bind the text properties of both our label and text area to those variables so alright let's save this make sure everything's fine and we have our alert finished so now how do we put it in a project uh, I already have a project made this alert tutorial will go into our first view here which is just a blank view with a uh, creation complete in it function that gets ran so uh, we need to add our library project which inside our mobile alert library we have this bin folder if we open it up we see we have a, a SWIC and this is the uh, flex uh, library so that holds everything so it's a nice uh, one file and it has your whole library assets and everything included in it so inside of our mobile projects any project you have you do the same thing we'll hit project properties uh, we'll go to flex build path and then add swick hit browse and we'll go down to our mobile alert and inside the bin folder we'll click on our mobile alert swick ok ok again and then that adds that to our project so when this gets ran we want our alert to show so we'll say var alert equals mobile alert and we'll just create that alert so now we need to assign text to the title and to the body so we'll say alert.title and we'll uh, assign some text to it we'll give it a title of tutorial alert and then alert.content equals uh, this is content text alright and one thing I forgot to do is we need to close this alert so let's head back into our alert component and we need a click event uh, on our button image so let's add a script block for this or actually we can just do it all in MXML let's do it that way so on our image we need a click and then we'll just say this dot close and so when someone clicks on that image it will just close the alert alright now that we're back into our mobile project we need to open this alert so to do that all you have to say is alert dot open and this takes one parameter and it's telling you uh, it wants a display object container which is kind of confusing but all of it all it's asking you is kind of what's its owner so all we have to do is pass in this and that's what you'll use for 99 percent of all your alerts and this is just saying to use this and what is this this is uh, a view is the mobile view so uh, that's all you have to do we'll run and debug this we can see our alert pops up we have the title text and the content text 
and we need to change some of that but uh, you see that works and then we have our button if we click it it goes away so if you don't want whenever you click on that text to do that we just set our text area editable to false and so now uh, if we run this again if someone clicks on that uh, it's not editable editable so we'll hit OK and that's how you create a native looking Android alert